Hi, it's Claire here and welcome to Insomnia the Gaming Festival. These are our job interviews. We are interviewing some of the lovely guests attending I-71 in September as themselves and as their characters to see if they are worthy of entering the gates of Insomnia. And in this episode, I'm very happy to welcome she plays Lazelle in Baldur's Gate 3. It's the awesome Deborah Wilde. Deborah, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Are you excited about Insomnia? I'm very excited. It's my very first um, like gaming festival convention thing that I've ever been to. So I'm very excited. I mean, it's gone a bit mad with all the Baldur's Gate 3 love. I mean, did you, did you think it was going to go this way or are you mildly surprised? I'm very, I mean, I think I knew, I always knew it was going to be something very special, but I didn't, I think when you're recording it, you never think about, oh, who, what are people going to think? Like, who's going to give it a good score and who's not going to give it a good score? You just kind of like go with it and you enjoy yourself in the moment. And I, and because it's been such a long time in the making, I just didn't really think about it, you know, until the very end. And now I'm just like, Wow. Just reading everything and seeing people's reactions and it, it's it's amazing. Because now, you know, the longer it goes on, people have more time to spend with all of the characters. Yeah. Some people might play it over a few times as well exactly. to get different uh, stories and things. So have there been any reactions or tweets or anything that have shocked you in a good way or surprised you because you've lived with that character for what four years right yeah. yes so anything that surprised you um i just uh love seeing people's marmite reactions to lazelle um there's some people that are just like i got rid of her immediately like immediately as soon as i could and then there are some people that are just like god i've, I've stuck with her and wow i've seen like a different side to her and she's like my favorite so she's a very divisive character and i really love that because i think that you know especially female characters you don't get to play uh often this this kind of strong uh character that sort of is very direct she says what she she wants and she knows what she wants so uh I, I've really loved the reactions. Even if people have a negative reaction to her, that's still, for me, that's really fun. I think that's great. It's better to be like that than to be somebody that's a bit neutral and a bit boring, you know? Yeah, I was thinking about that in terms of acting. Like, all of my lovely actor pals love playing divisive characters or villains. Mm. Uh, because, obviously, it's very fun. But, you know, do you ever kind of, like, feel like, no, I want to, you know, maybe it would be nice to play, like, the hero, you know, because it's maybe harder to get an interesting balance with a hero. Would you agree in terms of acting? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. And I think in the context of this game, it it's hard because I don't think there are really heroes and villains. And we've been asked a few times, like, oh, do you see your character as good or evil? And I certainly don't see Lazelle as as good or evil I see her just like any of us right you know we, we're going along our sort of our lives and our paths and we and we have our certain goals and we make decisions and life choices based on those and whether some you know to us they're, they're the right thing to do in the context of our lives but other people might see them as a good thing or a bad thing so um so yeah I like that about this game I like that a lot that that and like you said, there's so many different endings and, and paths you can go down that, you know, a character could could potentially go down a, a more evil path or a better path. And I, yeah, I think that's much more interesting. I agree with you. It's much more interesting to play a character that's like towing that line rather than somebody that's like your traditional hero, say. I mean, having having lived with this and worked with this game for four years, which is a long time to spend mm -hmm. with a character... I wanted to ask, uh, what were some of your most favourite memories, like, you know, working on it? Okay, there's, we've seen the result now, but any memories that come to mind that made you think, God, this is going to be exciting, or, oh, yeah. like, that was a really hard day, any kind of things that stick out? Um, I mean, we, God, every day was a lot of fun. Uh, they, for me... <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking back on the last few months because I was recording the last bits of this game heavily pregnant. And in fact, I was, I was, I recorded a bit of this game two days before I gave birth. So that was a lot of like, in my mind, you know, that, that was always like, you know, just, just how we were all having a laugh about that and me getting into my suit and being like a little bit bigger and then having to like sit down, had a little chair in, in the volume so I could sit down. 
And, um, you know, that was just such an interesting challenge to deal with, but we had a lot of fun and, uh, God, I'm just trying to think of things that, that stick out really, but every day was just so, it was just really fun. Cause you, you know, obviously, you know, as an actor, you, you, you very rarely get to sit in a job for four years and go with the same people and, and see the same people and hang out with them every day. And this was a real treat to, to be with um, the guys at Pit Stop Productions who, who did everything, the directing, the casting and mocap audio and uh, getting to hang out with them every day was just friggin' awesome. I loved it. But that's a, a, the amazing thing when you do get a character like Lizelle and a project like this, you know, you get to really dig in to the storytelling because yeah. you're a storyteller and that's what you're, really? you wanted to do. So that's an incredible thing. But, you know, I want to talk about the romance scenes because everybody wants to know about the romance scenes, of they course. Do. <laughs> you said, now I watched an interview where you were um, chatting about the fact that you had an intimacy coordinator. Please yeah, we did. tell me what an... I, I'm really interested in this job description. What does an intimacy co coordinator do exactly when you're working on a game like this? They basically make sure that everybody is comfortable, I think, first and foremost, with the material that is being recorded. And then it's a case of um, almost choreographing, uh, say, if they're going to be more physical lines, because we motion captured this. So choreographing that, uh, making sure that everyone's comfortable with it, just making sure that we all feel safe and comfortable. I think that's how I'd define that, that role, um, because obviously some of the scenes are quite spicy and uh quite intense um <laughs> they but, are indeed uh, and, and the bear we need to talk about the bear we need to talk the about bear. The bear. <laughs> i didn't really know about the bear until um until i saw it in the presentation and i was like wow it's gonna be a, gonna be a fun game was there any i mean the thing is it's a job you know like and uh you're there as an actor to do the job and you know sometimes you will have to do uh, romantic scenes and things as well as everything else are there any kind of laugh out loud moments for you when, when you were filming those kind of things, like things that you were saying or doing and you thought to yourself, my God, I've got a silly job. Was there any oh, moments like that? All the time, all the time. Like, I don't want to say any specific, there is one line and I, people have been asking me like my favorite like romance lines, like there is one, but I can't say it because it would be a massive spoiler. But almost all the romance lines that I did, I was just like, this is literally hysterical and even some of the non-romance lines where it's just like the randomest stuff because you're in this fantasy world and you're like oh you know so and so has come through the whatever and you're like wow oh, what did you do for work today yeah I just you know rode a dragon or saw something like you know opened a magical door that led down a secret hatch that did this that yeah it's just like yeah that's what I did today yeah. but yeah I love the lines because I didn't know a lot about this world so coming into it and learning about it sometimes I'd be like okay what's the context for this uh okay 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 then okay right <laughs> and then by the end you're just like you can tell me anything like the wildest thing and I'll just be like yeah I'll go with it because this is the world I love it I love it I love that uh you've got such a silly job it's it's amazing and also a job that brings a lot of joy to people it as does. well which is the, which is the thing because it's not just about the romance it's the adventure that and the time spent with those characters is very special so yeah, which yeah. will be great because you'll get to meet some of the fans at insomnia so i'm sure they've got no, I'm so excited i'm so excited people are so invested in it so invested and i i think that's just brilliant i mean i i'm not a gamer myself and this whole reaction to the game and recording the game has made me like literally want to buy a pc or a ps5 and play the game like, heck yeah Heck yeah. Uh, guys, if you're listening, anyone want to gift a PC or a PS5 uh, to Devra? I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> I'm open to presents. <laughs> Send Lazel a PlayStation. You should do um, it. Please don't, because I'll never leave the house otherwise. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of Lazel, um, I mean, it's a very hard thing to get through the gates of insomnia, and we do have to do a job interview. So if we could please... Speak to Lazelle. Is she there? Yes, okay. Lazelle is here. Okay, well, before we start, um, thank you very much for attending this uh, job interview for Insomnia, the gaming festival. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. About myself? Well, I've uh, come to this alien planet you call Earth and 
I'm surprised you don't really know about me. I'm the fiercest warrior in all of the Faerun, and I wield a silver sword. I love red dragons and everything else to do with fighting and fierceness and being a warrior. I feel like you should know about me. My reputation precedes me. Okay, we'll see if that sword gets through security. Uh, but okay, we'll see if you get the job. Um, why do you want to work with Insomnia, the gaming festival? I think it would be interesting to see what you humans do in your spare time playing these things called games and meeting different characters. I suppose that might be quite interesting. I'm still coming to terms with all the different things you have in this world, cats you have and dogs and various other creatures. So I suppose it might be nice to meet some people who apparently seem to like me. Sounds like you need to lighten up to me. But anyway, um, what is your greatest achievement, Lazelle? My greatest achievement? I think simply just being myself. Oh, okay, I like that. Uh bit of an ego all right and are you a team player Lizelle depends really who's on my team if it's shadow heart then I'm not really interested and uh as far as any team members are concerned it's really they they must listen to what I say what I say is the most important and it must go because I know the one true path it's a very long-winded way of saying, no, you're not, but okay. And uh, why should we hire you um, for Insomnia, the gaming festival? Because clearly I am the most interesting of all the characters you will meet in Baldur's Gate. I'm also the one who may hold some secrets and share some keys to the world of Faerun. I think just simply you'd you'd want to meet Lazelle. Okay, right, okay, I mean, you do have a bit of an ego, you're clearly not a team player, and it sounds like you need a tea and a biscuit, quite frankly, you need to lighten up, but you do have a sword, you seem quite fierce, and we could use someone with some strength, so I'm going to say yes, Lizelle, you're in. Wow, I'm very glad to hear it. See you at Insomnia. I'll see you there, thank you. Um, Can we please speak to Devra again, uh, Lizelle? Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> did, did you just speak to Lazelle? Yes, she was uh, an interesting character. Yes, yeah, she's giving you a bit of attitude, I'm sure. A bit of attitude, but nothing I can't handle. I'm from Glasgow, no. you know what I'm saying? So. All oh, right, fair enough, fair we're, enough. We're all right. I think I've seen fiercer <laughs> uh, in my hometown. <laughs> uh, I'll let her know. I'll let her know. Maybe she can bring it, she can bring it at insomnia. <laughs> um, for, finally, Debra, what do you want to say? to the lovely people at Insomnia who, who perhaps want to come and say hello to you in September. I can't wait to meet you. I've I've had a lot of like online interactions and I feel like so far everything's been behind the screen. So for me to like genuinely meet people, so excited. I, I, I don't know, do people cosplay at Insomnia? If they do, then that's awesome. I'd love to see that. I just... I just can't wait to like be among people, talk about the game, talk about the characters and just like have a have a have a bunch of Baldur's Gate fun. Yay, I'm so excited. Um yes, it's me too. It's going to be amazing to meet you and see everyone else. Um uh, Deborah, uh thank you so much for chatting with me thank today you. and we'll see you in September. Take care everyone. Bye. Bye.